Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm from the Cal Digital Support Team. If you've watched any of our troubleshooting videos before, you'll know that we typically do things in a manner in which we concentrate on a specific issue and then provide specific troubleshooting measures in order to counter that issue. Here though, we're going to be doing something a little different. Here, we're going to be discussing a more general topic and then provide one or two examples of issues that users might have and how to deal with them. In this video, we're going to be talking about the amount of power going to the TS3+, Plus, the amount of power going to each of the ports on the dock, and power going into your computer. We've also developed a firmware update that will deal with high energy peripheral devices that we're going to talk about at the end of the video as well. First, let's start where your power begins, the power supply unit. Now this power supply unit will pull 185 watts of power straight from your wall to share between your computer and your TS3+. Now the first 85 watts of power are designated to charge your computer. The remaining 100 watts are designated for your TS3+, to power each port and each connected peripheral device. Now, on your TS3+, itself, each of the Thunderbolt ports on there provide a different amount of charging. The first port, the computer port, provides 85 watts of charging. Now this is functionally identical to the new Apple charger, the one that provides 87 watts to your computer. You shouldn't notice a difference. Now if your computer does not require 85 watts of charging, this should not be a problem. If your computer requires more than 85 watts of charging, this will still charge your computer, albeit at a slower rate. Now the second Thunderbolt 3 port over here, the pass-through Thunderbolt 3 port, that port provides 15 watts of charging. Now, this should be enough to provide power to most Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C peripheral devices connected to it, or if you'd like to, you can connect your computer to it if you'd like to receive less charging. Next, let's look at your USB ports. Each USB port on the TS3+, Plus, whether they be the USB-A port or the USB-C port, will each provide 7.5 watts of power delivery. Now, that's going to be split between 1.5 amps, and 5 volts. Now, power delivery and charging will always occur anytime the TS3 Plus is connected directly to your computer. However, if your TS3 Plus is disconnected from your computer, you may notice that several ports stop providing any power whatsoever. Specifically, the front USB-C port, the rear USB-C port, and the rear USB-A port directly adjacent to the USB-C port will not provide any power when disconnected from your computer. Now this is going to be great for any of our users who, you, whose hard disk drives, which really shouldn't be running all the time, or light up mice or keyboards, which can prove distracting when constantly lit. If you have a device that won't turn on, or if you get an error message saying USB accessories have been disabled, you may want to check your device's technical specifications just to make sure it fits within your power budget. If you have a device that takes an unusually high amount of power, such as the Apple SuperDrive or the iPad Pro, we have developed a firmware update directly for this just to provide a little bit more power specifically for these devices. If you don't already have this, you can download it by clicking the link in the description below. If you have any questions or need any assistance with an issue relating to power, please feel free to contact us here at CalDigit Support. We'd be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching this video, and you have a great day.